ground control to Major Tom. My desire, my dream, my passion started when I was 12 and a half. Uh, I got a tape recorder for Christmas and fell in love with tape. Plus I was already a music fan, so I knew I had to somehow get into recording. Uh, 16, fed up with school. One uh, Friday evening I wrote as many letters as I could find in the phone book for places that might need a recording engineer, which is probably about 10. Wrote them on the Friday, sent them out on the Saturday, heard back from one of the places on the Tuesday, had the interview at that place on the Wednesday, heard back from that studio on the Friday that I'd got the job, they wanted me to start the following Monday, and that just happened to be EMI Studios, which of course today is now known as Abbey Road. Absolutely amazing, nine days, and my, my, the most amazing journey you can ever think of started. I remember correctly, I didn't know Tony before we started working on this album. I didn't know uh, David until working on this album. So it, it was just, it was a gig. I had first heard of David through Space Oddity. He recorded at a Trident with Gus producing and Barry Sheffield, one of the owners of the studio, engineered it. They did it on a Saturday. I heard that and thought, this guy's great. And so uh, myself and a gentleman called Malcolm Toft were put on doing the album after the success of Space Oddity. It was totally different, completely different from the single. And uh, I thought David was, yeah, he's a nice guy. He's obviously got a bit of talent, a superstar, never in a million years. When it came time to do vocals with David, he'd go down to the studio. I'd start the tape, he'd sing along a bit, I'd get the level and the sound, stop the tape, go back to the beginning, hit record, 95% of the time. What he did that one take is what you still hear today. The most amazing performer I've ever worked with as a vocalist, just, it was a joy. The thing about the single is, it was David. A lot of it was his ideas, from the stylophone to the mellotron to the cello on it, all of that, that was David putting his mind to work, how he wanted it. I, as a producer, learned from, from George Martin and from Gus, and they were both very much, talent is put into the studio to do one thing, and that's create. You don't boss them around too much. You allow them the freedom to do what they have to do, and you can pick and choose what works between the two of you. And that's what happened on that session. It was, it was very much David, and Gus let it flow, and it, that's what came out. For me, Space Oddity, what hit me with it was the whole thing. It, it was different. It just worked. And that, that's all one can ever ask for a, a, something to connect with people. It, it works or it doesn't work. Yeah.